Boys, I am quite the fucking gamer. And because of this, I have heard a lot, a lot of video game songs. So today I decided to rate all of the best of the best video game soundtracks in a bracket system to see which one is the best. Now boys, like most of my videos, this was streamed live on Twitch, so go follow me over there. Also, this video is like literally 40 minutes long. It's the longest video I've ever made, and it took me so long to edit. So if you do enjoy it, please subscribe. It means a lot to me, and trust me guys, I have have huge things in the works, right? If you watch me now, I am at a small stage as a content creator, but I promise you that in a couple months, I have some of the biggest news of my entire journey of YouTube. So make sure you subscribe for that, boys. I love you guys. Enjoy this video. It's a long one. Pause. Love you guys. Metal Gear Rising Revenge Soundtrack 1 versus Cuphead. Yeah, that, that, that is fucking terrible. I'm just gonna be so honest. That is not good. Yeah, I mean, th this one just sounds like the most basic, like... Like, this is what I imagine the weird kids in high school that wear fedoras are listening to in their, like, dog shit, five below, five dollar headphones. And then this one... Cuphead's got way better songs than this. This one's kind of bland, but I will give it to Cuphead, I guess. This is also in a bracket system, in case you guys don't know. Ooh, okay. Mario versus Life is Strange. I will say there's probably going to be a recurring theme of me fucking with the Mario shit. I I I'm kind of a Nintendo cocksucker. Dude, this reminds me of the TikTok trend where people would, like, turn around and do the things that the Koopas do. Iconic. Everybody's played this game, too. And I feel like that honestly matters. I feel like the impact or the remembrance that people have for a soundtrack matters in terms of how good it is. I feel like that's an important thing. A video game soundtrack has to get right. And I think that this is an absolute landslide. Come on. I mean, uh, <laughs> come on. Pokemon Black and White versus Crystal Dude. I, again, I feel like Pokemon definitely has better songs than this, especially Pokemon Black and White. But I mean, let's keep it a buck. I can't even pronounce this game. There's no way this is better. Hold the fuck up. Coming out of absolute left field bumfuck nowhere. That was surprising. I don't know what this game is. I've never seen it a day in my life. It looks like the type of shit your seven-year-old cousin would play on their Nintendo Switch Lite. It, it, I mean, seriously, but that is better than that Pokemon song. There's better Pokemon songs, but that was better than that Pokemon song. That one sucked. I don't know why they picked that one. Dude, this one's good. I, I mean, I know Persona 5 is kind of known for its soundtrack. I personally, I've never played Persona 5. I don't know anything about it, but the only thing I do know about it is that it does have a good soundtrack. And yeah, that, that was that was good. No fucking shot. That's going straight to Persona 5. I'm sure there's a random cocksucker watching this video that's got a, a soft spot for uh, the Donkey Kong Country N64 soundtrack, but keep it a buck. This one has lyrics in it, and they're not bad lyrics. Another Persona 5. Okay, let's see if they keep up the dick sucking. I'll start off. I'll give this one the benefit of the doubt. I can't even understand the language that it's in. Respectfully, that's not a good thing. Dude, I might actually download the Persona 5 soundtrack and start using it in my videos. Dude, that is good. To me, this just sounds like AI-generated anime hentai hullabaloo. This, on the other hand, they call me the Anthony Fantano of video game soundtracks for a good- Ooh, hold up, hold the fuck up. There's no way in high holy hell that Warframe is gonna beat Minecraft, even new Minecraft songs, but like with the last one, I'll give this one the benefit of the doubt. This, the song of sons and daughters, I, the heart of who we are. 
you know, it actually kind of surprises me. It's not that terrible. I don't know anything about Warframe, but I really do feel like this song sounds really catered to that game. This sounds really specific and like it's got a really a specific ambience that it's going for. It's actually not bad. The thing is though, it's not the type of video game, it's not the type of video game song that you would listen to outside of that video game, unlike some Nintendo music and some Minecraft music, which is I think why Minecraft has done so well. If the Warframe one went up against other ones, I probably would vote it, but you know, I just gotta, you know, Man, there's just, there's something about it. Like how the Warframe one, I feel like was catered to Warframe. And I can hear that even not knowing anything about the game. There's just something about the Minecraft soundtrack. I mean, I, I really don't get it because there's, there's been other games that have been, you know, on similar levels in success as Minecraft. I think it's the most sold game of all time. But then even then, like Tetris is like top three and you don't hear anybody talking about the Tetris soundtrack. And GTA 5, I think is top five and it's good, but it doesn't come anywhere near Minecraft. There's just something about the Minecraft soundtrack. And I think Jay Schlatt said this best when he was like, it's so good that you don't even realize it's there, which is so true. Like, you play this game when you're eight years old on like a, on like a Sunday or Saturday morning and just you're just like just exploring. And like this soundtrack encompasses that so well. And I think that's what the Minecraft soundtrack does good. I think that the Minecraft soundtrack fits the aura and the vibe that Minecraft gives the player over any other game. And honestly, I'd be very surprised if there's something that beats Minecraft in like the final verses of these. So yeah, it's going to Minecraft. And then we're followed up by this bullshit again. Let's go. I don't think it's Persona 5's best. I mean, I haven't heard the soundtrack before this, but the other two that I heard beforehand were better. Obviously, I'm still gonna have to give it to it because I can't even fucking hear the other one. Mario Bros. 2 NES Music. I'll be honest, I think that there's other better Mario songs, even from this era. It's fine. It just, in today's world, it, it, I don't, I just don't think it holds up. It, I, it's good. It's iconic. I've heard it a million times and it's got a good energy to it, but there's way better Mario songs. That's actually surprising. Again, never played a minute of Warframe in my entire fucking life, but not bad. The problem is, I've also never played a minute of Super Mario Bros. 2 a day in my life, but I've heard that song a hundred times, so... Okay, don't fuck this one up. Be a good black and white song. There's really good black and white songs. Don't fuck this one up again. There we go. Rating soundtracks. Hey, I see a guy. I want to put it in his ass. Oh, no. Dude, this one's tough. This is definitely probably the most known Smash theme, but I don't know. See, the thing about the Smash themes, and especially the Brawl one, I feel like, is I feel like they peak in the first five seconds. I'll just move to a random point in the song. I mean, it's- it's- it's not bad, I just kind of feel like this- like this was the hypest moment of the song. Like, that's the most known, the most heard, like the most popular. I don't know, because this is just such good, like, ambient music. Like, you could have this on and be doing anything. Or I could put this in the background of any moment in a video. I think I had to give it to Smash, though, because I've, it's just way more iconic, and I do think that's really important for soundtracks. All right, another fucking great one. I'll listen to it anyway. Dude, this song kind of makes you feel like a fucking badass. I mean, just li just listen to the first five seconds, dude. I can't distinguish a single word that they're mumbling under that extreme Viking beat, but it sounds badass. And it's just called one. The confidence to call a song one, just, just one. I mean, that's like if I named my channel the YouTube channel. That's badass. I wouldn't even need to hear the other one. Uh-oh. Again, I'll give the one I don't have confidence in the benefit of the doubt. It's, I, I don't, it's, it's just a Minecraft song. Come on.
There's really nothing to that. That just sounds like a modern day AAA game, like <laughs> title screen soundtrack. I don't know. I feel like they kind of all sound the same. There's there's nothing defining to this. I think even if you've played Horizon Zero Dawn, like the menu music is not the iconic shit. Nobody s just sits in the menu. Anyway, anyways, l l I'll just stop bitching. Let's just. I'm gonna do an impression. Watch this shit. This is gonna be really cool. And it's gonna get a lot of cool. Clips. Hey everyone, Stumpy here in my lovely world and welcome back to another video. Hey guys, it's Pat and I'm Jen and, and Jen. Hello. I don't really remember them though. Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Mine Co Come on now. Come on. I'll stop doing shitty British people accents. I haven't played either of these games. This one is completely up to the fucking will of my dick. Final Fantasy 7. I just want to say this just to get this off my chest because I don't think I'll ever get another opportunity to do it. The Final Fantasy naming is so shit. Final Fantasy 7. And isn't there like 16 now? The Final Fantasy, the last fantasy, the seventh time. I mean, not only is that bullshit, but it's so lame. What happens when we get to Final Fantasy 43? Hold up. Fireworks to light up your night sky. Not Katy Perry, but okay. That sounds like the shit shirt out of the Ratatouille kitchen. That was good. Immediately, from the second I heard the first fucking two seconds of that shit, that, that was good. Kind of actually gonna be a hard bat a battle for Mortal Kombat. Alright, next one. Again, haven't played either of these games. Skyrim theme song. Like, I, I can't hum the Skyrim theme song, but I would be very surprised if whenever I click play, I don't immediately recognize this. There it is. Okay, that was- okay, yep. It just took me a it took me a second. Uh, yeah, I fucking heard this shit. It just makes me want to go uh, shoot up a fucking entire village with an atlatl. Anyways, Bully. Really creative name scheme we got here. Bully soundtrack walking theme. Are we ser- are we serious? I don't think I've ever heard of a more boring- walking theme. Okay, hold up. This has potential. Okay, just- okay, it's losing a lot of potential quick. It's falling off a hill. I'll- I'll let it- let's put the drums in, alright? Come on. Okay, I'll- Yeah, that does absolutely nothing for me. I- that is- that is a nothing burger song. And it does not stack up to- God, I wanna slay a dragon. It's going straight to Skyrim. I don't even know if there's dragons in that game. Oh, oh! Yoshi's Island OTS. If this is the song I think it is, it's a landslide. This is what I'm talking about whenever I say, like, in this era of Nintendo, there is way better songs than, like, Mario Bros. 2 or whatever it was. Pokemon Sword. I'm not gonna lie, I played that whole game, I don't remember one song from it. Oh, let me guess, you're gonna come in with some drums? I- honestly, this sounds like the shit I'd rip a Beyblade to. I'm just not fucking with it. It's going straight to Yoshi's Island. Uh oh Oh, shit. Jump Up Superstar is like one of my favorite video game songs of all time. And Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is also one of my favorite video game songs of all time. Okay, let's start with GTA. Let's start with GTA. Let's just- I'll wait for them to come in with the piano. Hold up, I'm turning this shit up. Oh my god! This song embodies the feeling of G of any GTA game so well, dude. Like, this is the type of- I, I can't even imagine the amount of freestyles that have happened on Xbox 360 game chats to fucking this in the background while they're- while they're cruising around in a lowrider. If we're just going off iconic, I think GTA wins Landslide, okay? But it is fucking good. But let me just hear Jump Up Superstar. Go up around, but you know it's time to raise us hand. It's freedom like you never It's time to jump up in the air Mario Galaxy is literally renowned for its amazing soundtrack, but so is Undertale, so here we go. Fire. Heard it a million times. Let's go. Why- Mario Galaxy has so many good songs. Why the fuck did they pick this one? It's like they blindfolded it and then tapped their fucking phone screen with their dick on a list of Mario Galaxy songs. Like, come on, bro. Hold up. This game is amazing, but Persona 5 also has a lot of good sounds.
Dude, there's never been a song I've wanted to fuck Gwen Stacy to more than this. This reminds me of like, like two years ago during a Christmas whenever I got my computer. This was the first game I got and I played it during Christmas and it was just fun as fuck. The problem with that song though is I feel like it kind of means nothing unless you've played the game. Persona 5, let's go. Dude, that's so good. I think I'm gonna give it to Persona 5 because Spider-Man, like, if you haven't played this game, you don't, that, that means literally nothing to you. That's just a random video game song. But I've never played Persona 5, yet this shit sticks out to me so much that after the stream, I'm downloading the Persona 5 soundtrack and I'm putting it in my background music playlist. Like, th this shit... It, it's just, it's a landslide. Like, per, like, I don't know how, but Persona 5, what the fuck? Persona 5 has so many songs that don't even sound like they're from video games they're that good. Anyways. Oh, come on. Come the fuck on. Coconut Mall? Really, dude? Are you kidding me? And then there's the part afterwards where it's like... Da -da 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 -da. It's no, no comparison, bro. I, I I don't even know what the fuck Pokemon Platinum OST at their city HD is, but it's it's fucking Coconut Mall. Come on, this is a top contender. Speaking of top contender, Megalovania and the Doom. Uh oh, let's. Start, well, I guess we'll start with Doom since it decided it, it spoke up. All right, it was it was gifted from the heavens. I don't know. Let me tell you a vivid picture of what's in my mind right now. All right, imagine 26 year old overweight Pizza Hut worker on a Friday night in like 1996 with an N64. And he's just fucking up. A, I, I, I think, I don't know if I said Pizza Hut. I'll, I'll change that to Little Caesars because he's fucking up a $5 hot and ready and just absolutely banging a Coke Zero to the mouth at like 2 a.m. on a Friday night. And that is, that is, that is a beautiful, beautiful sight. Let me tell you, I, I would pay to get a fucking framed 9 by 12 of that shit. Oh my God, it'd go above my bed. Anyways, that, that's my my, that, that, that's my goal in life to get there. I'm joking, obviously, but like actually, this song really paints a vivid picture of this game, and I've never played it. Moving on. I don't know, man. I think it's just been been used too many times. It's it's turned into too much of a meme at this point. I kind of can't even listen to the song anymore. It, it, in terms of best in the world, this Doom song doesn't come anywhere near. But like Megalovania, dude, it's probably better. But I've heard it way too many times compared to Doom, so it's going to Doom. Uh oh, Battle of Disgustingly Fucking Mid, as fucking Queso once said. Overwatch, one of my favorite games of all time. I guarantee you, this song's gonna fucking suck ass. I, I genuinely don't understand how I can have so many hours in Overwatch and yet have zero attachment to this song. This actually means nothing to me. That is insane. Wow. And, and, and then going back to the whole thing that I said about Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 15? Why would I even play the series at this point? If, uh, like, what, where do I start? On Final Fantasy 1? Then I had to play, like, 14 games until I get to the newest one. They're, like, RPGs, so they're long as fuck. And there's no, like, this name, tells, there's no difference in, in anything from Final Fantasy 15 to Final Fantasy 7. There's no subheading to the name. It tells me nothing about the game, except that it's the 15th Final Fantasy, and all that makes me want to do is not play the series, because there's 15 games I haven't played. Anyways. The fact that these two even got on this list is, is really pissing me off. I'm giving it to Overwatch, because that shit is terrible. Uh-oh. Uh, fucking oh. Is this gonna be what I think it is? Come on, bro. Come on. Now I gotta turn my lights on. It was not worth the bit. Did anybody actually play Destiny 2? I thought that was just something they put on, like, the Microsoft Xbox store. Do we even... Do I need to keep playing it? No. Black Ops 2 Zombies? Bayonetta? Has anybody even play has, has a Bayonetta game been purchased in the past 20 years? I don't know. Dude, the amount of N-words that have probably been said with this in the background is unprecedented. Like, this is like one of the only songs I'm nostalgic about, and I've never even played the fucking game. Another fucking landslide.
Assassin's Creed. Shut the fuck up. We have bigger things to talk about. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate main theme. Are we fucking serious? Hear this torch against the cold of the night. Search your soul and be awake in the unknown. Come on, I don't even play Smash Bros. and this is tough. Assassin's Creed. I, come on. It sounds like something out of God of War. Come on, bro. It's Smash Bros. It's Smash Bros. Come on. It's it's fun. Mega Man 3 theme. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't want, know it went that fucking crazy, dude. Mega Man 3 definitely has the same titling problem as Final Fantasy. I mean, I think they're on, like, 9, and they just keep remaking the games. Uh, I think there's, like, probably 15 remakes out there, and I will not play one of them. But, I've never played a Mega Man game. I've heard that a million times. So, pretty good. However, it's going against Super Mario World Overworld. Like... I kind of feel like at this point in the Mario series, every single song that they made had the same structure because the first one was so iconic, but even then, against Mega Man 3, it's good. Mega Man 3 is good, but does it compete against a, Mar a mainline Mario main theme? Those have to be the best song, like some of the best songs in gaming, and that's why they are. Uh-oh. Oh! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh my- Fuck you say to me, you little shit! I'm sorry. Anyways. Oh man, dude. It's so good. The problem is, I think it kind of has the same problem that all the other, like, mainline AAA games have. And that's that they kind of just sound like ambient songs. And so I think to anybody who hasn't played Fortnite, this means nothing to them. But God forbid you played any of Chapter 1 for any amount of time. This shit is, like, so good. And it's so memorable. It's so ambient. And even though that's such a cliche thing, Thing for soundtracks to do, this one is so unique. That being said, I think earlier I said something about, oh, I've never wanted to fuck to a song more than this. I take it back. I'd rather fuck to this one. I think I gotta give it to Animal Crossing. I think Animal Crossing is the better song. I think I use Animal Crossing the most in the background of my videos because it's like the most versatile video game series of soundtracks. Like, it's Animal Crossing. It's Animal Crossing. Another just battle of the nothing burgers right here. Monster Hunter Rise versus Siege. Do I give a shit about either of these? Can't even understand what you're saying. Oh my god. This shit is just bad on the ears. This sounds like me fucking around in GarageBand. I will give it to this, even though it fucking sucks. Lost Woods Ocarina of Time got blocked? Let's not get it twisted. Ocarina of Time is the most overhyped game ever created. It is almost unironically unplayable in 2024, but... Little fucking nightmares. Dude, you got a, a tall mountain to climb here. Okay, like, I, I know that other th shit that didn't load, I just immediately skipped and gave to the other one, but, like, bro. And I know I know it's unfair that this one I decided to pull up, but it's fucking Ocarina of Time. That's, like, the best soundtrack ever made. Sonic Frontiers versus the only thing I know for real. Do I give a fuck about either of these? I could definitely get into some yams listening to this. Oh, I can just imagine it. Oh boy, he is hot. That was that was a joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. I'm giving it to Frontiers because I don't know what the fuck this is. Uh oh. So we're on round two now. So this is the ones that won uh, the first round are now moving on to this one. I could fuck up a hot and ready listening to this, but I could do so much more listening to the Animal Crossing song. Like, it's just so good. There's no question. There's no competition here. Overworld theme, Super Mario World versus Final Fantasy VII Remake? Dude, 
there's one thing about this song specifically, and I don't know why specifically this Mario World theme, but to me, it sounds really repetitive and it gets kind of annoying. It's still really good, but like, I can't put this shit on loop. For, I can't listen to this song for more than five minutes. Shit. Okay, originally I was kind of making fun of Final Fantasy 7 here. Still fucking hate that name with everything in me. Oh my god, don't even get me started. I'm kind of leaning towards Final Fantasy 7. I just feel like it's more listenable. I think it's a, a better song. I don't think it's more iconic. I don't think it's more known. I don't think it holds as many memories. But I think it's a better song. I ca these are har these are getting harder because I'm having to pick between like hard verses. Unlike this one. Minecraft versus the give me that I gave this one. The fucking random. What let's just go back to this one one more time. Time. I'm just not a fan of music that has no meaning to me. I can- I do not know what this woman is saying. Therefore, there's no art to this besides just the sound, so it's just noise to me. It's- it's bad. It's bad. I will also never play a Monster Hunter game, but I have played a game of Minecraft or two in my time. I don't- I, I don't want to do the whole thing again, but one more time, let's run this shit back. It's just, oh, it, it doesn't even compete. This is going to be a very hard one to beat. I don't know what's going to beat it. I mean, it's just going to Minecraft. It's going to Minecraft. And you know, like, I'm not offending anyone with that. I also don't think I'm going to be offending jack shit with this one. Dude, I really like this one. This, I think, is this is the best Persona 5 one on this on this list. I'm putting this in videos from now on. That's the only song on here that I've heard for the first time and liked enough to want to do that. Oh, sure, shit. I kind of don't even know what to say. Really fucking good. Does not sound like a video game song. There's no bad stereotype to that. That is a good song outside of a video game, which is something very few video game songs end up being. Dude, I kind of feel bad. I'm really like weaving out the fucking Nintendo shit and I have an entire shelf right there full of nothing but their product. That's like thousands of dollars of Nintendo games that I have right there. It's going to Persona 5. Okay, how many Persona 5 songs did I pick? Okay, it's not that good. Pretty sure that, yeah, that was the weakest one. I don't even want to listen to that one. Don't even need to listen to this one. Come on. So good, dude. It's so good. It does the thing that a lot of the Persona 5 songs do, where it's a, it's good separated from the gaming material, which I think is a really good thing a soundtrack can do. That is good. Yeah, it's definitely gonna go to Smash Bros. And again, I just, I feel like there's better Cuphead songs. I don't know why they put that Cuphead song in there. I'm gonna be so honest and vulnerable. That does not hold a fucking torch to the Fall Guys main theme. You can cancel me all you freaking want, it's just an opinion. Like, don't get me wrong, I've never played Skyrim, but I know it's a better game than Fall Guys. But come the fuck on, man, this song is so good. This song just puts you in the mood to do nothing nefarious, only good things, but don't take that out of context. It's Fall Guys. It's Fall Guys! Show me, it's Fall Guys. This song is so badass. Like I said, it's fucking called number one. Ah, oh, dude, it just sounds like you're like hollowing out a goat in like the middle of like a snowstorm and you're sleeping in it. I don't know, that's really gross actually, but it's kind of badass at the same time. Then Minecraft, dude. It's it's going to Minecraft. It's going to Minecraft. I'm I'm running out of things to say because it's it's less and less of a really set opinions like set good and bad ones like the, these are better versus better songs. Okay, the Undertale one versus uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Versus Five Nights at Freddy's, man. I think I'm actually gonna piss some people off with this one. I know that this song was like stolen from something else and I know it's not an actually listenable song and I know that Undertale is and it's a better produced and made and better song. I'm giving it to FNAF, suck me off. There has never been a song that has scared more six-year-olds from their closet than this. That and being gay, but I'm- but-, but 
I, I, <laughs> Monster Hunter Rise versus New Soup. I don't remember this one, but it's it better be one of those that really surprised me to beat New Super Mario Bros. Come on, bro. Don't even fucking waste my time with that shit. It's just, it's just better. It's more iconic. It's a more listenable song. It reminds me of better times, better days even. Like this game genuinely was one of the main reasons that the DS did so well. And the DS was one of the main reasons that like Nintendo came back. I'm gonna be so honest with on this one. I don't even need to play these. Like I know which one's winning. <laughs> It's not even a competition. Do we even need to get to the lyrics, dude? It, it's going, it's going to fucking jump up superstar. Black Ops 2 Zombies versus this one. I remember this one surprised me, but I don't remember what it sounded like, so I'll go to this one first. Dude, it's good. It's got, it's got a really nice, mysterious, yet happy tone to it. Like, not happy, but like, it's mysterious, but it's not sad, which is something kind of hard to do. And then Zombies is like... It's so simple, but it's so effective, dude. Hear me out. Okay, we already both know where this is going. Do I even need to justify myself? I'm gonna do it whether what the fuck you think, okay? I, I know you don't want me to, but I'm, I'm doing what needs to be done here, all right? It's it just, I know the Black Ops 2 one actually holds memories for people. And it holds memories for me, even though I barely played Black Ops Zombies because by the time I did, I was like 12 years old and the game was fucking dead. This is a more listenable song. This is a better song. This is a more nostalgic song. This is a more popular song. This is a better song. These are probably both the shittiest ones that made it this far. Sonic Frontiers versus Subway Surfers. Dude, Subway Surfers is like fucking a meme. Sonic Frontiers, let's go. Like I said, I could fuck the shit out of somebody, a girl, to this song. But then, against Subway Surfers, dude, it's like no competition, bro. I mean, come on. Okay, so last verses on the second round. I already have made my mind here. I'm yawning again. I don't give a shit. It's simple, but it's so good. Somebody could sample that and turn it into the fucking hardest New York drill beat of all time. Anyways, I don't know why the fuck that's where my mind went. It's iconic. I get it. Shut the fuck up, dude. I I'm just actually getting mad at this point over nothing. First versus of the third round. This is like semi semi finals, I think. Or maybe it's three semi. It doesn't fucking matter. Okay. Final Fantasy VII versus Animal Crossing, dude. We've gone through this one. I've, I've, I've pretty much said everything I need to say about this song. I'll, I'll give it one more chance, though. It's chill, it's simple, you could probably put it on for any occasion, but there's just something about Animal Crossing, man. I wouldn't even say that this is the best song on this entire soundtrack yet. Dude, it's it's just so good. It, it, it blows it out of the water, honestly. Honestly, it's kind of like a fucking Olympic swimmer trying to verse a kid in a wheelchair. I mean, I'm just saying what everybody's thinking here, like, let's be honest. Ooh. Shit, that's the one I didn't want it to be. And then that versus... God fucking damn it. I, I feel ashamed as a, as a Nintendo fanboy cock shield. It's just too good. Everybody, just look away from the screen really quick, okay? Just don't look, I promise. All right, you can look now. <laughs> Come on, bro. Yeah, it's funny. It's a fucking meme. I gave it the pick for the meme. We've already been over this. It really is a, a pick. Do, do I want to give it to the funny song or the better song? It's, it's one of the two. And I'm going to give it to the better song because fuck comedy and fuck being funny. This is a serious... I had to sneeze. This is a serious scientific list that is has to be completely accurate. And there's no room for funny business. This is actually a good versus, dude. Sonic versus Mario. Like, the best 3D Sonic game versus the best 3D Mario one. That might piss some people off. I don't give a shit. Do I really have to say something here? I've never gotten that far into this song in this list. I kind of regret letting it get this high. Now that I have gotten past the first opening bit, it really sounds like an emo kid. In, in the worst way possible, honestly. And, I'm, and Sonic, I mean that in the most offensive way possible. All right, Persona 5 versus Persona 5. If I were to guess, Persona 5 might win this one, but I could be wrong. 
All right, that versus butterfly kiss. Dude. Stop giving me such hard ones, bro. This is not a gay porn video. I don't know. I don't feel like this one's that divisive, especially as some of the other ones have been. Butterfly Kiss, I just kind of like it more. They're, they're going for two different moods, but I just kind of prefer Butterfly Kiss. I honestly don't think that's that, that one is rifling any feathers. Unlike this one. One of, if not the most iconic songs in all of gaming history against another one of the most iconic songs in gaming history. I honestly don't know why people listen to like those bullshit like 10 hour live streams of like, oh, music to fall asleep to. Motherfucker, just put on the C418 Minecraft soundtrack. I gotta, I gotta give it to Minecraft. I gotta give it to Minecraft. I can't, I can't give it to, I just can't, I just can't. But that versus Subwoofer Lullaby, though, like, that is a really good song. That is one of the best Nintendo songs ever made. But that versus Subwoofer Lullaby. just think it goes to Minecraft. Again, the Nintendo fanboy in me is, okay. Well, he's about to be happy again in a second, but the Nintendo fanboy in me just is fucking up, man. I thought a lot more of these would be Nintendo songs, but to be fair, there hasn't been an insane amount of Nintendo stuff in here. There was like four or five Persona 5 songs. Coconut Mall versus Fall Guys, though. I, I farted. But I actually think that this is a really uh, fair 1v1 because I think that both of these songs are going for a similar tone and that's like a really happy, like, kind of main theme, like, really bumpy, peppy, like... <sighs> Like, this is a really good song. This is the best thing to come out of anything Fall Guys. Hands down. But does it compare to Coconut Mall? No. I think that this is either semi-finals or finals. I don't- it's one- I don't know how that works. I don't know why I keep acting like I did. Minecraft Subwoofer Lullaby versus the best Persona 5 song. Persona 5 Butterfly Kiss, really good. And it's honestly not fair that it has to go against Minecraft. It's not fair for anything to go against Minecraft. But like, just know if it went versus any other song that's still left, it probably would have beat it. Even if it was the other Minecraft song, if it was Minecraft versus Supple for Wall of I, it probably would have beat Minecraft. Speaking of that, and speaking of Persona 5, oh my God. There's just too much to it. There's just too many memories and too many amazing experiences and fun times with this. And and honestly, maybe if I played Persona 5, it, it would beat Minecraft. Specifically, this Minecraft song. It's it's confusing because this Minecraft song is named Minecraft, which is kind of sh I'm gonna be so dead ass, I think my mind is already made. Jump Up Superstar, which really is like the best my Mario song. Either way, Nintendo comes out on top here, but I'm gonna throw a fucking curveball that none of y'all probably expected. I know, I know, I'm kinda crashing out right now. I'm kinda going a little bit crazy. I took too many Diet Pepsis today, oh my god. Minecraft versus Coconut Mall. Shit. Man, I keep saying that like, oh, it's not the best Minecraft song, it's not the best C418 song, but then I listen to it and it's just, it's just so nostalgic. But I'm kind of worried that that's the main reason I like it is just nostalgia. And I think, and I don't know if as a song it does well or if it's just my nostalgia. And I, I couldn't tell you because there's no way I will ever be able to view that song in an unbiased way. But against Coconut Mall, honestly... To be so honest with you, I would probably listen to Coconut Mall more than I would listen to this Minecraft song. Yet, I still think it goes to Minecraft. It's just so hard to beat, man. It's so hard to beat. It's so hard to beat. Just like me, because I have an erectile dysfunction. Oh my god. Subwoofer Lullaby. That's like a top three Minecraft songs. But versus, versus the fucking theme.
I'm gonna give it to Animal Crossing, but it, that's a lot to do with the fact that if I were to give it to Minecraft, then the final 1v1 would just be Minecraft versus Minecraft, which is boring, so I'm gonna give it to Animal Crossing. Oh, it fucking ended? I thought there was gonna be a last round. What the fuck? That was anticlimactic. I was so confused. Whatever, if I'm gonna be so honest, though, I, I probably would've given it to the Animal Crossing song.